Hi guys, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be an, an unboxing and first impressions video of the Oceanic Wild Oracle by Tiffany Sosa. So um, this, this deck has been on my radar <coughs> for a few months now. Tiffany was first coming out with it, showing little bits and pieces of it. Um, early on last year, I would say around maybe mid spring going into summer. And it was a deck that I was hoping would have come out in the summertime so that I could use it last year. Um, she, she could follow her handle at Boho and Indie Wild um, on Instagram. I'll put her information in the description box just in case you guys are curious. But this was on a Kickstarter. So um, she had different options for the Kickstarter. And I believe I chose the silver edition. Or the silver. It was like she had like cute little names for it. But I don't quite remember. But I know mine. I think I chose the silver one. Which um, came with a silver little bag. So that's kind of cool. It's like a silvery bag. Um, and it's an oracle deck. So there's 40 cards. Dive into the depths of your subconscious with the 40 card oracle deck to reveal messages from the deep. Now, the thing that really attracted me to this deck is the fact that it is a mermaid deck. You don't see very many mermaid decks out there. And, um, I own, I think I own pretty much every mermaid deck that I'm aware of. <laughs> there might be more that I don't know of, but, um, they're really fun to work with in the summer seasons, and at least in my opinion. And I'm a sucker for Oracle decks. So the cards come in a nice sturdy box. And when you open it up, I already took the shrink wrap off so that we weren't, you know, we wouldn't be fumbling with it. But it comes with a guidebook. I haven't looked through the deck yet, by the way. This is the first impression. But it comes with a guidebook. It looks like there's some spreads. And um, images of the cards, it's black and white. That's really cool. So there's keywords, a message, and a reversed keyword. Very cool. So you could read this deck with reversals. Nice. So that's a little guidebook that comes with it. Now, I really love the card backs. They look like scales. So it's like real fishy. <laughs> and it's very, really, um, it's kind of blurred. So no, this isn't the camera blurring. It's it's actually the deck, so it looks a little blurry. But it's it's it looks like to me it looks like fish scales. Um, the edges are metallic or what would you call this? Holographic. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize they're gonna be holographic. I thought it was just gonna be silver. That's really pretty. Woo! They're slippery, so they do have a gloss to them. The cardstock is pretty um, bendy, so that means it's going to shuffle beautifully. I really like that holographic edging. Really cool. I've never had a deck that has that. All right, so let's go ahead and look through the cards. Um, I'm just going to do them quickly. I don't want this to be like a long, lengthy video. If you um, are curious about any more information on the deck, I will go ahead and put all the information below so that you guys can check that out. So we have Withdrawn, Untamed, Traveler, Transformation. I love it's a selkie for transformation. That's too perfect. <laughs> Self-confidence. Routine. I love that. So as you could tell, like the images are very, they're um they're it's digital, it's it's computerized. This is responsibility. So if you're not a fan of that kind of artwork, it's real repetitive, as you could tell, like you're gonna notice, you know, the sea turtles, they're, it's a repeated image, you know what I mean? So if you're not into that kind of thing, you may not like it, but I just love that it's mermaids. That's what was, that's what really attracted me. And it's so simple. There's not a lot of going on in each image. Release. 
I love that it has, you know, um, a keyword at the bottom. It helps with your intuition. So this is reflection. I love this card. Ooh, power. And we have an octopus. I love how the background looks so, like, watery. Like, just underwater. Really, really pretty. Playful. So see, that's what I was talking about. Like, how it's, like... The same person you know it's there's it's not a lot of detail it's not like you know different it's it's repetitive images so sometimes you know that can get a little eh. oh nurturing we have a pregnant mermaid here I love that nostalgia mystery ooh this is pretty Muse. I really like how she made the mermaids with different color hair. Kind of like it matches their tails. <laughs> Magic for the unicorn. Love. Knowledge. Cute, she's reading a book. Intuition. Impulse. Oh, that's cool. To be impulsive, wanting to be a human. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Healing. Aww. Harmony. Happiness. So cute. Generosity. Freedom. Being free from the net. That's crazy. Endured. Or endurance. Sorry. Wait. Endurance? <gasps> I think there's a typo here. That might be a typo error. I'm pretty sure that's endurance though. Elusive. Curiosity. Creativity. <laughs> that's pretty. I like the color schemes too. Some of them just look really nice. Compassion, oh, oh, cute. <laughs> Community, we have dolphins. Communication, choices. Like, which way do I go? <laughs> Broken. Beginnings. Oh, I really like it. I like this deck. This is going to be fun to work with. Beauty. See how pretty that is? Like, really pretty. Balance. Oh, cool. Awareness. I like that one too. Authority. And abundance. So cute. Oh, little stingrays. I love it. So that is the Oceanic Wild Oracle. Um, and like I said, it's an indie deck. It was a Kickstarter. So I believe it should be, there's going to be um, decks available to purchase from her and she has an Etsy shop, so keep on the lookout. It's a really cute little um, little deck, and it's just it was one that I was anticipating, like I said, because I'm a mermaid fanatic. Like I love mermaids ever since I was little, um, so I knew that that had to be a deck to add in the collection, and so I'm really excited to have it. It literally just came today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about the deck, 
um, or any other questions in general, leave comments below. I do my best to, to respond as much as I can. Um, but you know, it takes usually it takes me a few days to go back and do responses. But if you have any questions about the deck, please, please, please leave comments below and I will reach out. Thanks you guys for watching. Bye.